Hey everybody, I'm back here with another short tutorial for Fusion 360. Today we're going to be covering um, scaling. And it's a really useful feature. I got this little Pikachu here. Um, especially if you have downloaded a file from online and maybe you want to scale it up or scale it down. You can do this in your 3D printing, um, like G-slicing um, program usually. But there's also times where it will be really applicable and really nice to be able to do it in Fusion 360 itself. So what we're, we're going to do is we're going to go to Modify, drop that down, and we have it right here, the Scale feature. And you don't have to be using this just for uploaded 3D prints as well. Um, so we have right here Entity, so we're just going to click on what we have, which is Pikachu. And then we can either drag it right here, we can type in the amount here, or we can do it right here. And so you can just see like, boom, Mega P Pikachu, smaller one. Uh, you can also select a point, and so with the selecting point, in this case there isn't a point uh, just because of how the surface is brought in, but you can click on a point and that's just the point which it will grow from, uh, but the, still the ratios will be all the same, unless you click right here where it says scale type, and you can do non-uniform. This is really nice because you make like a really stretched out Pikachu, you can make a really scrunchy one, you can make a fat chubby one. Yeah, kind of goofy, but you never know. There's lots of different things you can do with that and reasons why you would be able to manipulate something. Especially if you're doing like artwork, it could be very applicable as well if you're trying to do something like a gradual motion from one object to the next, starting with one uh, 3D model. You can do a lot of different things with it. But that is it. And so again, it's just right here with, right here, scale. And that's really all that there is to it. It's a really simple, really straightforward feature, but it is useful on occasions. I personally use it mostly when I'm uploading 3D models that maybe come in small or I just want to have them larger. But if you found that video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, please add them in the bottom, and I will see you next time.